Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? My name is Vocabulary Vinny. I know so many words that I'll make your head spin it. For every word you learn, I'm going to give you a penny. I'll make you rich if you learn many. Yo, guys, what's up? Now that everyone has cell phones and laptops, autocorrect and spell check has ruined everybody's vocabulary. I want to teach you kids so many words, but kids just won't pay attention these days. I learned that I got to make it fun and filling. So tonight, Becca's going to make it fun, and the winner gets a pizza dinner. Yo, yo, yo. Wah, wah, wah. I want to make one of you very, very pizza rich. Make it rain pepperonis. So name these words fast. See ya. And when I was growing up, a young, a young father, a young husband, and uh, two little children, I did not know how to raise the kids in a proper way because I was kind of a rowdy guy. And so uh, I needed help. And so I went to church to find God so that he could help me raise my kids in a proper way because I probably couldn't teach them anything good. And that's where I uh, learned about Jesus. And uh, I want to say that uh, the, it's not enough just to know about Jesus. You have to get to know who Jesus is. Because uh, the Bible says that, that the devil believes in Jesus. And we all know where he's going. He's not going to heaven. So Jesus says, uh, follow me and his children try to be like their father so if we were a sheep and jesus was our shepherd we would follow him and he would take care of us so i learned that at an early age and uh, the bible story that i'm going to uh couple with this is uh, a samaritan woman now uh Samaria is a town outside of Jerusalem that uh, all of the Jewish people go around it. And if a Samaritan, that's a person from Samaria, is walking on the sidewalk, uh, a proper Jew would cross the street and walk on the other side of the sidewalk. So many years earlier, the Samaritans were Jewish people that uh, left left God, left Judaism because they married non-believers. They married non-Jews and they were like a half-breed. And so nobody wanted anything to do with them. Well, Jesus and his disciples were walking through town and Jesus says, I am going to go through Samaria. So he knew something that the disciples did not know. And the disciples went into another town to go buy lunch for everybody. And Jesus walked into Samaria, and it was about noontime, and it was really hot because it's, uh, it's over there where the sun shines really hot. And he came up to this woman, and he already knew who she was. And so he asked her to give her a drink out of the well. This was, she was high noon in front of Jacob's well, dropping a bucket down in a well with a rope to pull up a bucket full of water. And all of the Samaritan women, they would go early in the morning before the sun came out. And so she was even shunned from the Samaritan women. They didn't want to be around her either. That's why she was there in the hot afternoon by herself. So she must have done something that even the Samaritan women don't want to be associated with. So Jesus knew that she had a great need, and he came to her specially. And so Jesus asked this woman to draw water from the well for him because he was thirsty. And she, she could tell by his features that he was a Jew. And she says, how come you, a Jew, are talking to me, a Samaritan woman? 
And Jesus says, if you knew who I was, you would ask me for living water. And I would give you living water and you would never have to thirst again. And she says, whoa, I would like some of that living water. And, uh, and so Jesus said, uh, go call your husband. And she says, I don't have a husband. And Jesus said, you answered correctly, for you have had five husbands already. And the sixth man that you're with, you're not married to him. And she says, wow. The Jews say that the Messiah comes, and when he comes, he will know everything. And Jesus says, that's who I am. And she didn't even give Jesus a drink of water. She dropped the bucket and ran into town, and she told everybody, come and see the Messiah. This person knows everything about my life, and nobody told him. He must be the Messiah. Come and see. And so uh, some people believed her, but most of the people wanted to see for themselves. And they ran and they ran down to the well. And even some sick people came because they knew that the Messiah could do miracles. And so what I want to share here <clears throat> is that uh, Jesus knew that this lady had many husbands and she had a need and she was trying to get love from uh, from the wrong ways. And Jesus says, I am the living water, and if you drink of me, drink of my living water, you'll never thirst again. And what he was talking about is, is uh, when I said uh, uh, sheep follow the shepherd, if you were to drink his living water, uh, that's when the Holy Spirit indwells us and gives us uh, insight to what his word means so if you learn about jesus and you copy jesus and follow jesus he says you make me number one and i will provide all the rest so you won't want or need so many things because jesus will provide all the things that you need <clears throat> 